Planet of Metal Radio, the heaviest show in town. Uh, last tour you did a, a cool tour uh, in Europe with um, Dying Lord and Dead City Runes. You you played last September in Belgium in Antwerp in, in the Tricks Club. Yeah. How how did that tour go? It was really fun. It was uh, uh, you know touring with a Australian band and a Swedish band was was really fun. We had we had a lot of. Uh, uh, I, th I I remember we talked about it like like uh, halfway through the tour we were like because ev everyone was sort of nervous that uh, the other bands shouldn't uh, get their sense of humor or whatever but we sort of realized that we had very much the same sense of humor so it was there was a lot of laughs on that tour and we had a lot of fun doing that tour and uh, and uh, I would I would definitely do a tour with those bands any day uh, again and I talked I talked a lot to to uh, the guys in both those bands and um, I'm gonna meet up with uh, Dead Lord in in because uh, they're playing in our hometown not too long from now so that'll be cool to see them again it was a good talk okay uh, I think uh, I can, it's safe to say that a lot of Audrey Horn concerts have Waiting for the Night as the last song. Do you think it's the most popular uh, song with the fans or how, how do you decide on your set list? It's been, for the last period, it's been the, the closing song. Not because it's the most popular song, but ma mainly because we just felt like this is sort of the right song to finish. It's kind of like the vinyl thing, you know. You have to build a show up with, you have to start with a song that sort of goes like, you know, we, we sometimes we try to open with it, like a, a different kind of song, a song that's more mellow, and then we're always like, oh fuck, we're not getting into this. So so we always have to start with a good show, and, and we spend, we always try to sort of make sort of an energy balance throughout the show, and, and waiting for that, the night has been sort of a, good closing song because it's it's sort of a it's a good farewell song in many ways who came up with the Audrey Horn band name are you fans of Twin Peaks are you looking forward to for the new season that might come out next year yeah I'm, I'm, I, I, I like we all like Twin Peaks a lot and I, I have this like, this uh, mixture of excitement and and fear for the new uh, and it might suck it might suck uh, I, I think uh, as long as David Lynch does it he's you know his movies are amazing I think But the reason we came up with the band name was that I used to be in a band called Sylvia Wayne sorry I used to be in a band called Sylvia Wayne before uh, uh, I, uh, before we started Audrey Horn and I, when we were coming up with band names uh, At one point they said that, yeah, you used to be in Sylvia Wayne. What, what was that name? And I was like, it's just a made-up woman's name. I don't think there is a Sylvia Wayne out there. Maybe. I don't know. But we just came up with a, like, a woman's name because we, wanna, we, we said that it would be cool. Like We're just guys in a band. Let's have a woman's name for a band name. And then the other guys liked that. And they were like, maybe we should do the same. And uh, I think it was Icedale who was watching Twin Peaks at the time. He came to a rehearsal room and he said uh, how about Audrey Horn and we were like yeah it sounds good and it's I think it you know band names you know <laughs> there are so many bands out there and they have more or less uh, good bad stupid ridiculous uh, band names and the same thing with like when, when every time we release an album it's always this big discussion about what what's what we want to call the album and I always said that it doesn't It, it does matter what the album is called, of course, but but it's not really that important because uh, when uh, when uh, a band releases an album, 
and they say here is a new album it's called Remedition you hardly ever if, if you think about it yourself how often have you looked at an album and, and asked yourself what the fuck did they call it that you know normally you don't do that you just accept it as that's the name it's like a kid here's my son his name is Adam you don't go like Adam why didn't you call him Jack or something you you just accept it and 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 for us as a band when the other guys are like well you know because uh, I remember young blood they were like young blood doesn't that sound like we're kind of old people and uh, trying to be young and I'm like no I like the name young blood and I said that when this album has been out for two weeks you are gonna be so used to that name that that it's it's totally normal it's, it's it's like I said it's like your kid you know if you name your kid after a while you don't you don't look at him and go like nah he doesn't look like a jack maybe I should call him Bill instead you know it 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 it, it sort of merges into uh, a natural uh, thing and the same thing with Orduron because I was I remember when we, we talked about the name it's like Orduron I was like yeah cool I wasn't it wasn't like yeah that's the band name I've been looking for all my life but after a while it, you're like yeah we're all wrong that's you know who else would we be you know so so um, I think th that was it was just him watching it and, uh, and then he came up with the idea Last question. Uh, you, you played Hellfest recently. You're playing Dynamo Metal Fest today. Do you get the chance to, to watch some bands? Have you seen some good concerts lately? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, I haven't seen anyone here yet, but, but I'm going to check them out. I actually saw Anthrax at uh, Hellfest and they were fucking amazing. Um, but I saw, uh, I, like, at Hellfest, I saw Slayer, I saw Black Sabbath. Twisted Sister was really fucking good and uh, Gujira amazing but to be honest personally my favorite at Hellfest was uh, uh, friends of us from Norway called Kvela Talk they were mind-blowing good I was I went up to them afterwards like fuck I want to quit this band and join you guys you know they were, they were so amazing um, so so yeah that's a cool thing about festivals because you get to uh, you get to hang out, meet a lot of people, stay out in the sun or rain or whatever it is. Uh, you can eat a lot of food, drink beer. You don't have to go like, oh, I have to be uh, ready for a new gig in uh, in five hours. So uh, and you get to see a lot of bands and and bands that I've wanted to see for a long time and 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 of course bands that I've never heard of, but you just. But what, what, what is this? So, so you always like discover some new bands at festivals. Okay, thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.